Well, the studio in California, um, Denny and and Leon really, you know, they really wanted to kind of open it up and and not be as uh, um, expecting so much of the musicians because back then, you know, it's like if you signed with a record company, you had to make this many records and you had to put out this many singles and. You know, you had to make this many sales, and you know, it, it took away from their talent, just being able to create and do music. So that was the purpose of coming back to Oklahoma and starting this church studio, was so that they could come back here and make some music and not have all those contracts and so binding to musicians that wanted to just make music. We were sitting in a circular, there was a circular booth, and if you were sitting on one side of the circular booth, you could look out the window and you could see the church. And then if you're at the other side, you really couldn't, you'd have to turn around and look. And I said, that church is for sale. And he said, is it really? And I said, yeah, I said, there's a number out there. So Denny said, well, after we get through eating, let's go over and get that number and call it. And I said, okay. You know, yeah, it's all right. So we walk over there to get the number. At the same time, we we're walking up the steps. And I said, this is just perfect, Leon, because you love gospel, you love Jesus, and you love music. Church studio. You can't get any better than that. You had to go in, first off, you had to go into the sanctuary, you know, and that's where they were gonna tear down and, and make the studio. And so, you know, they had to go in with those jackhammers, you know, they had plastic, real thick plastic up so that it wouldn't come back and hit you. And, uh, that was a real experience to tear that down. It wasn't just as simple as you were tearing down a wall. You were tearing down a church. And so for him to be a part of that, I wanted him to be a part of it because I felt like there's a lot of things that he would keep yourself from doing that might benefit him in some way. And so I said, you know, get you one of those sledgehammers and get with it. Nah. I said, I'll go on, it gonna hurt you. And so he, you know, I called him a wuss and so he got it and he went over there and he, you know, he hit it. He, he had a lot of strength, but he hit it. And then he just got with it and got to hitting it and hitting it. And so uh, when he was through, you know, he came over there and he laughed, his laugh. And he said, that was fun. <laughs> you know, as uh, as we left there, you know, that's whenever we got into starting to talk about, you know, what we were going to do with pieces and stuff, you know. You know, he, he, he got real excited and so did Denny. They were both excited that they were going to get the opportunity to do a church studio that they were about. Not what somebody said they had to do, but what they were about. Leon wanted it to be a church studio. He wanted to be able to come in there and do gospel. He wanted them to be able to come in there and do their music. He wanted them to pick out their musicians, not what California said who was going to play on your album. So there was a lot of, you know, it was going to be a lot of freedom. And he wanted it first to the Oklahoma musicians, you know, because to him, that was the Tulsa scene, was the mountain musicians from Tulsa that had so much talent 
And, you know, we've seen it over the years. My gosh. It just, you know, so many of them had passed. But, you know, their music, I mean, you know, is, is, uh, it's not like music anywhere else. He wanted to see musicians fulfill their dreams. And he didn't want a bunch of stigma on them. He didn't want them to have to do this many albums. He didn't want them to have to do, you know, the the big industry, you know, when you were in California, you seen the big industry and they requested, required a lot of things in order to be signed with them. And it was go, 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 go. Leon was so talented. He could play every instrument. He could watch people interact and write a song. He could take his life and put it to a song. You know, that's to him was being able to create from his heart, you know. That's why it was real easy for him to jump into some gospel songs real easy, you know, from a song he was doing. You know, all, all I could say is, to me, he was the maestro. To me, he was the maestro. He would help people to build the music, lyrics, whatever you, you wanted. He was the master. And anyone that ever had the opportunity of being around him, I don't think there's a musician that ever sat down with him that doesn't enjoy, didn't enjoy his creativity. But he always gave credit to God for his creativity. Always. And that, you know, that's one of the things that Mary and I've shared since he passed is that, you know, we're so grateful that we got to be around that part of him, you know, the spiritual part. <laughs>